Lecture, we're going to do further examples of uh, of electrochemical cells. We're going to draw more electrochemical cells. But before do doing that, I'm going to look at the at the data booklet, which is going to tell me about the ele different electrodes and their potential. So, in the data booklet, if you have a look in the data booklet, which uh, for CAE Chemistry is 9701, it's included in your syllabus. So, uh, the electrode potentials, the standard electrode potential, E0 values are given for for different electrodes. So for example, there's a silver ion, silver electrode, it, it has an E0 value of 0 0.8. Similarly, there's an electrode which has uh, hydrochlor uh, HOCl uh, in acidic solution with, uh, and it has a reversible reaction with chlorine and that has an electrode potential of 1.64. So you have all types of electrodes, cobalt ions, uh, gaining electrons, forming co cobalt 2 plus ions and a reversible reaction that has a value of 1.82 volts. So all all the different types of electrodes uh, are given the data in the data booklet. So I've I've just taken a screenshot of a of a sample of uh, of uh, different electrode potentials that I provided in the data booklet, and we and we would be using and referring to the data booklet when we draw further electrochemical cells. I am now going to do another example of an electrochemical cell, and I've drawn uh, an electrochemical cell, and I'm going to pick two electrodes uh, randomly from the data booklet and, and I'm going to connect them together in this fashion. I'm going to connect the two electrodes. So one of the electrodes that I've picked uh, and remember uh, uh, based on the shape uh, I'm using a metal metal line electrode so so one of the electrodes that I've picked it, it has this reversible reaction where chromium ions chromium 3 plus are gaining three electrons and they're forming CR and uh, CR is losing electrons to form chromium ions. So this is the reversible reaction setup. So this electrode would be made out of chromium and the solution would contain chromium 3 plus ions. And since we're talking, uh, talking about standard electrodes, so the concentration of the ions in the solution is going to be one mole per dm cube. And we, we're going to do this, elect, uh, we're going to construct this electrochemical cell uh, at room temperature. So that's one of my electrodes, chromium 3 plus plus three electrons and that's giving me chromium and the E0 value for that particular cell is minus 0 0.74, 0 0.74 volts. And the second electrode that I'm, uh, that I'm uh, choosing is, uh, is Fe2 plus plus two electrons. Uh, it's an Fe2 plus Fe electrode, Fe2 plus plus two electrons and it's forming iron. And the E0 value for this particular electrode is E0 is minus 0 0.44 volts. So that is minus 0 0.44 volts. So you have, uh, that means this electrode over here would be made out of Fe. And the solution is going to contain Fe2 plus ions. Now, and the ions would be, would have a concentration of one mole per dm cube. Now, this electrode over here is minus 0 0.44 volts and that electrode uh, on the other side, the E0 value is minus 0.74 volts. Now, remember what we've uh, discussed previously, uh, this over here is the lower potential. So if this is the lower potential and we discussed earlier, lower potential has a higher tendency to lose electrons. So this side is going to undergo ox oxidation because lower potentials have a higher tendency to lose electrons and this over here comparatively is the higher potential between the two. So this here is my higher potential side which means that it has a higher tendency to gain electrons. So this side is going to undergo reduction. It's going to get reduced. And uh, the, the electrode that is getting reduced is always your cathode. So this side would be your cathode. And the other side is going to be called your anode. So electrons travel from the more negative to the positive side. So the lower potential to the higher potential. In this case, electrons would flow from the lower potential. This is the more negative side and they're going to travel to the more positive side. So that side is the positive side, com if you, if comparatively speaking. So lower potential to higher potential. So the movement of electrons is going to be in this direction. So this direction would be the movement of electrons and the lower potential loses electrons, it gets oxidized. 
So we're going to we're going to the reversible reaction. Once you connect the two electrodes together, it's no longer going to be a reversible reaction. It's losing electrons, so chromium would be producing more electrons. So lower potential gets oxidized, so a reverse reaction would occur at this particular side. And on that side, it's going to get reduced. Higher potential gets reduced. These electrons come, and this uh, whatever species over here, they're going to gain it, gain these electrons. So. Iron 2 plus would start gaining electrons going to get reduced. So the direction of my arrow would be on that side. And I'm going to try and write the overall equation now. I know that uh, this side is getting uh, oxidized. And this side over here is getting reduced once I connect the two electrodes together. So I'm going to write an overall equation now. Uh, before writing the overall equation, I need to I need to write the two equations in the correct way. So this is uh, happening in the reverse direction. So it's basically chromium losing electrons, forming chromium three plus signs and losing three electrons. And that is in the forward direction. So it's Fe2 plus, which is gaining two electrons and it's forming Fe. So I'm going to add the two equations. And when I do that, the overall equation that I'm going to get is uh, before adding the two equations, I need to balance the number of electrons gained and lost. So, so this equation would be multiplied by two because you have that would make the number of electrons lost equal to six, and this equation would be multiplied by three, which is going to make the number of electrons gained equal to six. So, the number of electrons gained and lost must be equal. Now, when I add them up, it's going to be two chromiums uh, reacting with three. Fe iron 2 plus ions and they're going to produce uh, two chromium 3 plus ions and three iron atoms so this is my overall uh, equation for the elect for the for the electrochemical cell so let's uh, highlight that so that's my overall equation and I would also need to figure out what the what the E0 cell of this entire reaction is going to be. So I'm going to now calculate the E0 cell. So the E0 cell would be reduction minus oxidation. So it's reduction minus oxidation or higher potential minus lower potential, which in this case is if you look at the two electrodes, uh, I basically want to figure out what the voltage over here is going to be. So it's going to be the higher potential, which is minus 0.44 minus the lower potential. So basically I'm trying to figure out what the potential difference is between the two electrodes. So reduction minus oxidation, it's minus 0.44 minus, minus 0 0.74. So that's the difference, that, that's the electrode potential. Uh, of that's the potential difference of the entire electrochemical cell and the value that I'm going to get is 0 0.30 volts which is positive which means that this particular reaction over here is feasible it's uh, more than feasible it's uh, it has a positive E0 value which means that the electrons are going to travel and the and uh, the the E0 cell ca is not very very high so that means that the reaction would not be extremely fast but it would still be feasible Lastly, in the end, I'm going to try and write the cell notation uh, for this particular cell that we just wrote down. So, so uh, as we have discussed previously, uh, you write down the anode first and followed by the cathode, the reaction at the cathode. And there's going to be a, a double vertical line indicating a salt bridge in between. So, so you're going to start off with, uh, if you look over here, the reactions over here, you're going to start off with chromium because uh, start off with the with the reactants so chromium chromium is the one that's losing electrons so it's chromium uh, vertical line chromium 3 plus followed by a double vertical line indicating a salt bridge and then your reaction at cathode so your reactants first so it's Fe2 plus getting converted into Fe so it's Fe2 plus plus two electrons getting converted into uh, Fe so you don't need to write the two electrons you just need to write draw a vertical line over here so just a vertical line followed by Fe so that's your uh, cell notation for this uh, for this particular electrochemical cell so let me highlight that 
this here is the cell rotation